Hi, I'm Shannon from Dreamtime Creative. This is Doorstep Creations number seven. Behold the mighty suffragists of Wakefield uh, flag bunting. So if you haven't got a kit already and you'd like to make a bunting flag, just email hello at dreamtimecreative.org. So thank you for watching. Um, we're so proud of this project uh, and it's been going since the start of lockdown pretty much. We've sent out over 450 kits to the public, to the recovery college in Wakefield, to local care homes in Wakefield. We've got participants up at Fieldhead Hospital participating as well. So we just want to thank everyone that was involved and supported and participated and created some amazing, beautiful things. So this is number seven in the Doorstep Creations and the final um, project um, kit. So enjoy the tutorial. We do like to thank our funders here. So thank you, thank you for extending this project to Her Majesty's Government and the local community fund um, from the National Lottery. So thank you. Um, in your kit, you'll receive a self-addressed envelope and everything you need to make a flag. Um, your suffragist kit will have um, two wooden bunting flags. So you can keep one, you can make two, you can just make one and give one away. But we do ask, please, please, please send one back to us because it will be displayed next year at the International Women's Day event in March 2021. So keep an eye on the Dreamtime Facebook page and the website for details on that and everything else that we have um, coming up, like free creative courses that are going to help you maintain your well-being. Um, anyway, so... Enjoy the tutorial, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Doorstep Creations number seven. So this was an add-on to the original Doorstep Creations project. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to make suffragist bunting flags. So we've got plenty of free kits if you don't have yours yet. So... Again, just email hello at dreamtimecreative.org and we'll send you one. Um, in the meantime, you can watch this and get some inspiration and anyway, we'll get started. Um, so in your kit, you've got various things, pens and glue if you need them, um, tissue paper, different color tissue paper, um, you get some fabric um, and you get your information sheets and your flags so I've got some things here and we're just gonna make we're gonna make a bunting flag um, I just want to show you a few that we've already made um, so the lovely Amy made this one which is beautiful Thank you, Amy. Um, and she also made us this one, which is stunning. And I love how Amy has cut out bits from her information sheet and used them on her flag. So I think I'm going to do the same. Um, you can spend as long as you like on these flags. Um, you can you know, do something quite detailed, or again, you can print some stuff off the internet, or you can just be creative with the things that we've sent you. So, I'll put those to one side. Right, so, I won't tell you much about the suffragist movement in Wakefield. Many of you might know the word suffragette rather than suffragist. And there is a difference. Um, so the main difference is that the suffragettes were a little bit more proactive in a physical way. So they might have, you know, destroyed uh, property and, you know, maybe they were, they were extremely passionate about what they were doing, but they might have, you know, put people in danger maybe by just, you know, um, anyway, you can look at it, you can look at it, you know, 
on the internet. There's plenty on the internet, but we don't we don't often feel that suffragists, you know, were violent terrorists or anything like that. Um, the suffragists, on the other hand, use their words. They use their words and their peaceful deeds to protest um, the the English government, um, and they just wanted their their equal right to vote, and that's where the word suffrage comes from. So behold, the mighty suffragists of Wakefield. There were 11 women in Wakefield out of about, I think, almost 1,500 women in the UK who signed the petition that was sent to Parliament for women to get the right to vote. So those 11 women, you can find out all about them at our workshop on Saturday, the 12th of September. The details are here if you want to write them down. And again, you can email us um, or go on our website. Or Facebook anyway let's get started so I think I'm just gonna keep it really simple um, another thing about the suffragists is that their colors were red green and white whereas the suffragettes were purple green and white um, now you're not forced you know to stick with the green red and white colors you can be creative you know um, that's all we want so have fun and enjoy the video.
Okay, those are gonna look great all together, hung up at the event that we plan to coordinate for next year's International Women's Day, which will be at the beginning of March. So keep an eye on Dreamtime Creative for details on that. Um, in the meantime, there's lots of other events going on. Um, check out our Facebook page or our website. Um, if you're watching this video before the 11th of September, again, we've got our creative workshop at our studios. Um, you can find details again on the website and Facebook. We've also got creative and well-being courses that start. Um, so check it all out. And um, we really hope you enjoy making your bunting flag. And just so I can go into a little bit more detail, um, we'd love for you to take photographs of your work because if you don't send your bunting flag back to us in the self-addressed envelope that you receive in your kit, um, we won't be able to hang it up. But at least if you send us photos, we can cut those photos out and hang them up. So enjoy and thank you for watching.